Hello! In this video, we'll be demonstrating the process of logging into an iLabs Connect enabled guest Wi Fi network for returning guests. We will be using an iPhone and signing in with Facebook. A user will first connect to a venue's guest Wi Fi. For the purposes of this video, the SSID is Free Wi Fi Example. This opens the Captive Portal browser. Since the user is previously signed in before, they are automatically redirected to a success page. A captive portal browser works independently of the regular phone browser, creating an isolated sandbox with its own cookies. Those cookies are not persistent and are erased to keep the captive browser isolated. The user can only connect to sites that are located in the walled garden. They cannot access sites located outside of this walled garden until the sign-in process is complete. Note the cancel button on the right side and a lack of a Wi-Fi icon in the top left-hand corner that denotes this. The captive portal redirects to the desired redirect page. Note the cancel button is now replaced with a done button denoting full internet access. The captive portal browser cannot launch all third-party apps as it is more restrictive compared to Safari and cookies are not saved. The user now clicks the done button to close the captive portal browser. This behavior is different than an Android phone which will automatically close the captive portal browser once the internet connection is active. The user is brought back to Wi-Fi settings and displays a checkmark next to the SSID. Note the Wi-Fi icon has now appeared in the top left-hand corner. The user is now allowed out of the walled garden as full internet access through the Safari browser or another browser on the user's mobile phone. This is the browser they typically use to surf the internet. This is a separate browser than the Captive Portal browser and allows persistent cookies to be saved on the phone. Here is a replay at normal speed. Thank you for watching this video.